Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to take a look at the Photos app that Apple has just released uh, to help you uh, deal with your photos. Uh, the Photos app is actually a replacement for Aperture and iPhoto. And it's designed to keep your entire photo collection in sync so that when you make a change on one uh, device that you've got, that change will show across all of your devices. And there's a number of things like built-in cloud storage and those sorts of things that go along with it. So I thought it might be a good idea to cover this a little bit so that you can kind of see the upgrade process if you're coming over from Aperture or from iPhoto and just get a good idea for how the app functions. So what I'm going to do is, again, this is where it's at on the website. It is automatically a part of the next uh, system upgrade. And so when you upgrade uh, Yosemite uh, and you've got your software update there, then the Photos app will automatically show in your applications and it will also show in your dock. So what I'm going to do is before we get started, let me just put this down here. What you want to do is go into Aperture or into iPhoto. Uh, whichever one that you uh, particularly use. And you want to go through your projects and all of your different um, albums and things like that. And you just want to make sure that everything is the way that you want it to be. So if you've got some organization that you want to do, it's probably helpful to do some of that organization up front so that you don't have to do it after the after the transition because what you're going to be doing is converting your Aperture or iPhoto library uh, to the new Photos application library. Now, a couple of things as I say that, you'll still be able to access your library in Aperture or in iPhoto. It will read uh, through both of those. Uh, the difference is, though, is any changes that you make in Aperture or iPhoto after you converted uh, your library to the Photos app will not transition over to Photos, uh, the Photos app. And the changes you make in the Photos app aren't going to transition back to Aperture and iPhoto. So you just want to make sure that you know that uh, so that you don't all of a sudden make a change and go, how come it didn't take? Uh, it's because of that conversion process. And so that's why I recommend taking care of a lot of your basic stuff uh, ahead of time so that you get everything kind of the way that you uh, want it to be so that the transition over will be a lot easier. Moving forward from here then, it's up to you as to whether you want to continue to use Aperture or iPhoto or not. They've been removed from the App Store so they won't be updated uh, anymore. And so you want to make sure that, uh, although I think they'll be updated through Yosemite somehow, uh, but once Yosemite's gone, then Aperture and iPhoto are gone as well. So just making sure you understand that uh, before you get started will probably help you in this transition. So I just wanted to, wanted to point that out. So let me just put this down here. So what I'm going to do is launch the Photos app uh, for the first time here, so you can see what it looks like, and uh, get a good feel for how this works with the transition. So here we are in the Photos app, and we're met with this uh, kind of walkthrough. Uh, again, it's talking about the all-new Photos app. You can take a quick tour if you want to or just get started. If I tap on the quick tour, I get basically one of these pop-ups here that kind of walks me through all of the various settings and what the view looks like and what the different buttons are and how you browse through photos. And it gives you kind of a nice uh, overview of how the Photos app is supposed to meet, uh, work with sharing, your memories, all that kind of stuff. And so, uh, again, just want to point out they do give you kind of a quick little walkthrough. So let's go ahead and click on the Get Started. And so now what it's going to do is ask me to choose a library. Now I've got a lot of different libraries here that I've had from the past, uh, but the one that I want is my main uh, Aperture library. Now you can check that out just by looking at the, um, the path to make sure it's the one that you're looking for. Uh, each of the other ones have different paths uh, that they walk you through. There's a, my backup, that's why you see it twice. But I want my main one that's sitting right here. Uh, you can also create a new library if you haven't started one yet and you're just starting with Photos Fresh. Uh, since I'm not, I'm going to choose my Aperture Library and say Choose. Now what it prompts me to do is to choose whether I want to use iCloud Photo Library or not. And so what iCloud Photo Library allows you to do is to store your photos and videos in iCloud and then you can access them from all of your devices. And what it allows you to do is uh, store your actual photos and videos in the cloud and then have those things available on your devices where they're basically going to show a, a thumbnail so that uh, it doesn't take up a lot of your hard drive space. And so this really is built to use iPhoto Library, uh, the iCloud Photo Library. Now a couple of things on that is that uh, if you do use this, uh, you you need to be aware of what your storage is uh, with iCloud. Everybody gets five gigs for free, but if your photo library is bigger than that, and mine is substantially bigger than that, uh, you'll need to actually pay for uh, the storage in order for your photos to appear on everything else. If you're not going to use the iCloud photo library, you can still use the photos application. As you see, it says not now if you don't want to use it right away. 
uh, but uh, but you won't have the access to all of your photos then on all of your devices uh, if you don't. So it does kind of create that uh, the uh, that uh, kind of a desire to be able to use it. If I just uh, click on the Learn More here, it's going to bring me into a web page here that shows me uh, what Photos is all about and the iCloud Photo Library and just kind of how that works and why you would want to have it. Uh, so it kind of gives you all that information on there. And then how to set it up, it kind of gives you a quick setup. Uh, for instance, if you click Setup on your Mac, uh, it kind of walks you through uh, how to do that, making sure that iCloud is turned on, that you've got everything set up with iCloud. You enable iCloud photo sharing. Uh, it kind of walks you through that. So what I'm going to do is just put this down here. And we're going to come back in here. And uh, again, let's just choose Use iCloud Photo Library and it's going to check my library size and it lets me know automatically that this is the plan that I need. Uh, I would need a plan here, uh, the 500 gigabyte plan in order for my library to fit uh, and it's going to charge me uh, you know, $9.99 a month. Now you can, you can cancel or downgrade uh, within 15 days uh, for a refund if you wanted to do that and they give partial refunds as well and, and that sort of thing. Uh, so it's up to you. You can see here it's storing 276 gigabytes in my library there, and I only have 2.79 left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this just so that we can see the full feature and how it works. So I'm going to say Next. And then I've got to basically log in now uh, to be able to purchase this. So let me put my, uh, my password in there so we can set it up. And once I've got that password in there, then I click Buy. And it's going to upgrade my information for me. It says Upgrade's Complete. So now I've got uh, the storage that I need to use the iCloud uh, application. So I'm going to say done. And done with this. And then it's just letting me know Aperture's open. Uh, to help have that happen, you've got to quit Aperture. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to go and quit Aperture here real quick. So let's go ahead and close Aperture down. All right, I quit the application. Now I'm going to say continue. And so now what it's going to do is prepare my library. And so it's preparing it now for the conversion over to photos. So this could take a little bit of time uh, to do. In fact, Apple even knows that it's going to take a little bit of time. So it says you can take a quick tour of photos while you wait. Uh, as you can see here, 1% complete. Uh, you can see the little thing moving. It's going to take a little time to do that. So what I'm going to do is let it uh, let it do its thing. And once it's done preparing my library, I'll come back and show you what it looks like on the other side. Okay, so the uh, preparing the library is finished. And you can see now I, I had clicked the tutorial, and it takes me into that tutorial again that I showed you uh, earlier. But again, everything's all set, and it says begin using photos. Now this uh, preparing process with my library, which like I said is about 270, 280 gigabytes, uh, it took about um, 40 minutes uh, to do the preparing, somewhere between 35, 40 minutes, just so you know, so you know what, uh, how much time it will take to do that. So let me just go ahead and click on Begin Using Photos. And let's see what happens once I launch the, uh, launch the application. As you can see, I got the wheel there, so it is thinking. And what will happen is it will be uploading your photos in the background if you choose to use the iCloud Drive. Uh, the iCloud Drive is, uh, you know, again, like I said, is optional. You don't have to use the iCloud Drive, but really the one of the great points of using this is to be able to have your photos in sync across all your devices. So as this is loading up here, we're going to see the Photos application start to launch here, as you can tell. And now we'll wait for it to populate. And there it goes. Now it's starting to populate uh, various photos and things that we've got. And so you can kind of scroll through those and see what's going on. And so here's the top bar with the various ways to look at your different photos, your shared, your albums, everything organized inside the Photos application. So that's it for the upgrade. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I will show you in another screencast how to use the Photos application. But hopefully that helps you get started with using with getting your upgrade done to the Photos application. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.